Hey guys, this is Winnie Kemadi and of course this is number one top trending show. And guys, I've always urged you to hit the subscriber button on my video, subscribe, and then put the notification on. And so today guys, I brought you the CEO of End Chicks Farm. He's a very nice gentleman. He's going to tell us more about the journey of End Chicks Farm. So what's your name? Um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Edwin Kemaita. Mm -hmm. Yes, the CEO of End Chicks Farm. And um, I'm glad to have you here today in Kemadi. Yes, just to talk a little bit about Ed Chicks Farm and the journey and um, the bigger dream that we have. Wow. First of all, let me congratulate you for making it to be a CEO of your own and of your own company. You know, see Rice, is new Kweli. And so today I just want us to tell us, tell us more about the Ed Chicks Farm. How is the journey? How did you start? And kind of the challenges that you're going, you have already faced, such things. So, how is the journey? How old are you, Edwin? So, um, currently I'm 26 years, but turning 27 in just a few days. My birthday is in November. I'm a November baby. Wow. Keki yeah. tutakula. Congratulations for being the youngest CEO currently in Kenya. I'm sure kuna mwingine. So <laughs> Uh, how do you feel about the chick farm? Okay, um, so it's it's a it's a dream that I have, and uh, that I hold so dear to my heart. Um, to me talk Bali, if I would say, uh, it's an idea that I conceptualized uh, back when I was in campus, um, almost in towards finishing campus. That is in fourth year. Um, I took um, a course in computer science, but. Um, when I was in Fodhia, we took a program that was called Inuka, a leadership program. Now, um, it used to, t to teach us um, many things like vision and planning and then also um, how to develop a business idea, how to have a business plan, how to have excellence in your jobs um, or even in, the, in any business that you start and also how to do financial management. So from then, that's when um, I thought of agribusiness. And um, when I thought of venturing into agribusiness, I thought about chicken. So, up on the idea, yote ya kuku ilianza. Yeah. And then this, the word also a chick began from there. This is very amazing. Like, you're a computer student, but an agribusiness expert. <laughs> wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. So, how far have you gone with the chicks farm? Okay, so, um, after clearing campus, that was in 2017. I began my first uh, uh, my first lot of the of the first talk of um, 50 chicken, and then um, that was almost in October towards December. And I remember with these 50 chicken that I kept, I reared them until um, it was the festive season, December, and at least one chicken was weighing around four to five kgs, and I could sell that chicken for 1,500 shillings. And I used to sell door to door around uh, my home place. I come from Meru and um to Ocha and kwa door to door I would sell the chicken to the people that were around there. Uko nyumbani na jua this family at least can afford the the chicken that I was selling. And it was a good um chicken, only a part of value for your money because it could serve at least a family even of ten. Because you can imagine four kgs for broiler. It was, it's, it's a quite a good, some good uh, meat na watu walikuwa na enjoy sana. So from that, um, nika pose kidogo, nika rudi, nika rudi Nairobi. Uh, Nairobi nika kuja, nika anza kufanya, nika anza kufanya um, what, what I learned in campus. I was hired as a software developer, but still back in, the, uh, back in my mind, I, I had that idea ya, ya, ku, ya, ku, ya kulisha kuku. So... Um, I think again I I, I invested like um, with a hundred birds, mm -hmm. Nikakaka Nazo, that I think is somewhere in 2018, 2019, Skumbuki Vizuri. And then uh, after Kuza is Opia Zikaisha, Nikamua Sasa, hey, the business was not really good because uh, there are so many challenges. One was uh, consistency. Unapata, even if you get a hotel as a client, Ningumuku supply the chicken every. No, you, you see every every like if the the hotel needs chicken every day or every week and you just have a hundred birds always user so that was the number one challenge then the other challenge was um pia we, you know we get these these birds as 
the one day old chicks na then the mortality is so high mm-hmm. so napata zingine zikuwa zinakufa so maze ilikuwa challenging um nikaanza kuona ni kama this idea is not really going to take me anywhere so i just decided to pause on it mm-hmm. and concentrate on other things mm-hmm. um but still i had that idea in mind wow so does it mean that the phrase that says delay is not denial was still in use isn't it because you had to pause for some times and then think about it and then come up with something so great so amazing that's yeah. a good thing by the way there is a time i saw you participating in something iliko inaitwa mbele na biz ah would you kindly tell us more about mbele na biz inaweza kuwa pia sisi mbele na biz tunaiona tu huko na tujui na nikiti naweza tuokolea yeah it's something that really um could help mm-hmm. but they, i remember there's something that you just told me mm-hmm. <clears throat> about me posing the business uh, back then and just um which in a bit on it and but it's still something what, that was back in my uh, back of my mind so um kitunaweza kuambia i remember when i was doing the inuka leadership program uh, we learned something about uh, strategy and planning and i remember that guy that was teaching us that um, specific uh, course um, or that specific topic said that sometimes we need to up, um, differentiate the failure of a strategy and not the failure of a plan because my plan um when i was thinking of starting the business of agri business ama kulisha kuku is to have um as exporting tons of chicken to outside countries and countries where maybe there's shortage of food so with this um with me posing and um just taking some time to reflect and do some retrospection um, on the business doesn't mean uh, the plan will equally fail sure. but i needed to, to change the strategy so but luckily um i remember back in 2019 uh, my friend um by there i'll shout it out, I'll shout out to him at this juncture and it was Dennis Motuma uh, he's on that um told me about the Mbele na Biz competition it's called Mbele na Biz business plan competition so it's where you just go and lo- and um put out your business idea and then if you manage to to pass uh that stage your business idea you get now to do a business plan where you uh, come up with um you now continue to develop on the idea like basically you do the the finances bit of it how you're going to do the marketing how you're going to do the um, the products that you'll be selling who is the clientele that you're targeting uh how do you intend to sell out your products do you plan to have offers such things basically so then you get to the business plan if you get to pass the business plan stage uh then that's when you get the seed funding uh for your business so i remember mbelena biz started way back in 2019 uh but we actually got awarded um some few months in 2021 so it's been that long journey mm-hmm. you can see yeah. it's not been something that we did overnight to really actually when i was doing it i could sometimes say maybe nikitu siko sure kama itaenda mbali but uh, one thing i had trust about it is it was being run by KPMG mm-hmm. and these are trusted uh, companies or corporate um, people so i'll show it's something that is real and it's something that uh, the the world bank is doing through the uh, Kenyan government to invest in the youth uh, in the youths mm-hmm. so the requirements is that every time when they give you that money you're going to at least do a business that is uh, beneficial and again you're also going to create employment opportunities to the youths wow this yeah. is amazing okay you know one thing i love about the nature it offers what you love because the nature brings exactly what you dream or what you love. The story of this young CEO is very amazing because he had a dream like Aliota but still he had to put it into into action. Yeah. It's like dream then wake up and work. Yeah. Hey, those are the visible clowns I've ever seen. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. And so meaning that so far mbele na biz ndio imekufanya ufike up to where you are yeah, sure. and another thing i've heard about him rafiki who are your friends eh? his friend connected him to this far and you see i may shout out big to dennis dennis motuma. dennis motuma yeah, to go to talk and other from primary school wow so it's been a journey bana hey. and, and then um something you also said um there's something known as desire 
if you if you desire something so bad trust me it will come your way and um even the bible itself says from the like the desires of our hearts um god is going to grant them because i remember there is a philosopher um socrates i think it's socrates mm-hmm. um one man told him amweleze how do you become successful in life you know what socrates said you have to desire and uh, socrates took the man i remember this story used to be given a lot na deputy way to tukiwa high school mm-hmm. socrates took the man akampeleka wakaenda naye kwa kwa river mm-hmm. and when they had walked inside the river and the, the river was around uh, waist deep while well, imako imafika kwa kiuno you know what socrates did socrates got hold of the man by the neck and dipped him inside the river mm-hmm. and you know hange breathe akiwa kwa maji so akamweka hapo for like a minute or two or three and then um, when the guy was about to turn blue socrates ali mu know and you know of course when you just get out the first thing you do is <gasps> take big gasps for hair and everything so then he asked him what did you feel like that guy said the only thing that i desired at that moment was just get at least a breath hata kama ni moja tu nivute at least hewa kidogo and socrates told him that's the same thing um if you desire something so badly and you wake up and go for it it will come it's called just the law of attraction it's what you attract that uh, that's what comes your way so back to mbele na biz tushapigwa do na actually if you think the government doesn't invest in the youths um just be on the lookout kuna many projects that the government is running at the moment through the government of the youth um youth office in most of the sub counties i think so and also there is the kiop uh, kenya youth employment opportunities so just go check out all those um those um their sites you'll see um some some um at least some programs that the government is running for the youth so it's in 2021 sasa we've been given the money um i thank god for that now i just decided now to expand the business uh trust the youths and create employment opportunities my idea vile ilikuwa ilikuwa what i do i give you uh chicks and then i give you feeds now since most of the youths who call nyumbani they have space mm-hmm. and they have time but they don't have maybe the seed capital to to invest they don't have even money to to buy the feeds mm. but they have that time and they can basically provide labor so what i'm asking for when i give you chicks and feeds nataka tu nipe labor ya kunichungia zile chicks until they become to the slaughter slaughter age ama the slaughter weight mm. so um i give the i, I give them seeds uh, feeds and the chicks and you know when they especially when the chicks are from day 1 to 21 it's normally so labor intensive sure. iko na kazi mingi sana especially when ziko kwa broad pale so but I, i at least at the moment i'm, I'm able to start with around eight uh, farmers so far in meru mm. and um, we are doing well currently we uh, we managed to so far we managed to to raise at least 15 1500 chicks yeah so mm-hmm. yes so surprisingly mbele na biz ni uendeleze biz it's not for your own purpose like see it you will pay ile ile pesa tuseme hizo madhao zako ujiweke ama ujinunulie gari it's you to create another business for other people yeah true wow and that's exactly what you did yeah so uh, the main the main the main idea um when the when world bank was doing this initiative with the kenyan government was to actually create more employment opportunities for the youths uh, that's what they're trying to curb mm-hmm. so even for your business plan and your business idea to pass mm-hmm. all these stages mm-hmm. you have to show a clear way of how you're going to create employment opportunities mm-hmm. yeah so tunajaribu tu kuinua vijana and i believe by doing so we we empower them so so we will now appear kuku na appear the fins and everything what about the brothers zinaitwa brothers yeah, brother brother uh-huh, brother yeah. uh, na hizo hizo nyumba za kuku vizimba if my kisail is not wrong <laughs> ni kizimba eh vingi ni vizimba si ndio yeah uh-huh. so, I, i know it's i know it's as a chick, uh, as a chicken shed sorry uh-huh. but um yes um 
what I ask for the youths to show just commitment is them to build a shed and also buy like the feeders and the drinkers. Then uh, through that, if you show me commitment through that, then I'm willing to give you feeds and the chicks. Do you do you categorize the your farmers like? Kuna age fulani ama anyone who is willing to take responsibility? No, tunasema sahi kazi ni kovijana. Mm -hmm. So, tunafanya kazi na people below 35 years mm -hmm. of age. Mm -hmm. So, that's what, that's um, the people that I'm targeting. Mm -hmm. Though it doesn't mean that you don't have other uh, older people. Like, um, most of the mo most of the transport management is done my, by my dad. Mm -hmm. Yendo unichukulia feeds, yendo unichukulia chicks. Izo vitu zote. So, yes. Um, but most of the people that I'm working with is the youth because yes. I want to empower the youths. Wow, this is nice. Sasa, kwa hizo kukuzako, how long do they take to mature? Like, ukiwa, ukinipea leo sasa kama wini, how long do you expect me to return or you come to slaughter your egg, your chicken? Okay, so, um, uh, broiler chicken, if they are fed well and uh, if everything goes correctly, um, we get them from one day old. It takes 21 days to into the brooder. Now brooder basically ni where you keep them and you have to provide some artificial uh, warmth. Because mm -hmm. our chicks normally as naitaji mom and wazilali. But now since they don't have, we give them some heat, mm -hmm. artificial heat, zina zina kapo, and then you provide them with feeds and drinks apple. And then after 21 days, we move them from the brooder. We now put them uh, in an open space. Mm -hmm. And then we give them another three weeks, mm. where they um, that is a total of six weeks, 42 days. We say 42 days, oh. yeah, for them to get to the slaughter weight. Can I challenge you? Yeah. Uh, assuming now, ukonaizo kukuengi sana, sindo, what do you plan? Like, to be looking for hotels and things, or what's, what's your plan? So, my plan so far is, um, one, to continue expanding. We are continuing, uh, we are continuing to do... Uh, more of the expansion uh, in terms of even we started making our own feeds uh, to just reduce the cost of because cost ya chakula ni eco very high so at the moment we are doing our own feeds and um, I'm planning to get more farmers on board and um, after that um, I'm also planning to target um, more hotels more institutions but more um, I also want to have my own franchise that is coming out very soon guys watch out I uh, will be eh, getting you with moto moto mm. from chicken wings to drumsticks to any vitu tunaenda kuwaletea pale mta fry I'm very happy because to some extent my desire is almost coming to fulfillment by the way I come from Meru akuna KFC and I've been dreaming naweza fanya nini nileta KFC so far sasa mimi nimepata mtu wa kuku I'm just, I'm just looking for, <laughs> CG, I'm looking for, for now the capital to start my big KFC. CG, so sad, now it acquired, but at least we are bringing the fries back to home. See you, Kweli. And so, how much do you sell? Okay, so, um, uh, basically, before I get to us, what, how much I sell, uh, let me just highlight that at Ameru Badwata Chicken in Akuna, and it's even hard to find to find a good restaurant. So what I'm looking to do is uh, I want to start a good franchise. Nataka kupiga chicken in KFC Kompe. I want to do some serious branding on that. I want us to continue pushing the name Ed Chick Farms. Um, and um, I hope what one thing that I believe in is a big dream requires a big team. Sure. So I believe in the power of the people. I believe that uh, when we bring in our strengths, our unique strengths, then we cover our individual weaknesses. Because if you find like a person like me, I might say I'm good at people skills. Someone else is good at sales. Another person is good at um, marketing. Yeah, another person is good in the kitchen. So I'm looking for people that you can work together. And these are the youths. Mm -hmm. uh, and easy politics. Sikuji kuambia youths nitawapea kazi eti ndo mnipe kura. Easy politics, like in, I want to work with the youths. Um, and I believe when you come together, great things uh, will happen. So uh, for, our chicks, uh, for our chicken, uh, we normally sell 1.5 kgs at 500. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have an, a, a hotel or if you're buying in bulk, we can negotiate the prices. They are not fixed. 
yeah, we can see how we can work on the logistics and everything. Is your market only in Meru? No, we actually bring our chicken all the way in Nairobi. Tell us about you. Before we post. So, Okay, yeah. So, um, yes, I talked also about feeds. Uh, so, how do we formulate our own feeds? So far, we talked to some people from Netherlands. Mm -hmm. They have an office and a, a space here in Maruroi wow. where they sell um, concentrates. Uh, they sell from pigs and dairy cows and chicken, uh, all these um, uh, home, home animals. I'm a Tunazitangaj. Oh, uh, like oh, the, domestic. Uh, the domestic animals, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, they are selling those concentrates. So what we do normally is we buy all maize, all maize, uh, and then we we mill it. Ama siaga, nakisiagi, and then we mix now with the concentrates. They are, we, they are they have given us a specific formula that we use on how we mix. Mm -hmm. So currently to cook, we're piloting stage. We are piloting with a, 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 around a hundred birds. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if it works well, we continue working with them, and then now uh, we pilot it out with all our our chicken. Okay, that's amazing. Now that means you've already cut the cost of production. Yeah, actually, okay. it's cutting the cost by around uh, by around thirty percent. Thirty percent. Yeah, of the feeds. I'm a forty actually. Oh, yeah. so we were to the market. Your market. Who are you? Which is your market? Okay. Currently, what I've been doing in Nairobi, I've just been targeting um, individual, like one person. I've been doing more of retail. But in Meru, I do uh, supply most of the hotels there mm -hmm. and institutions in bulk. But in, in Nairobi, Bado, I do manage to go out big. But uh, once the, the supply is constant and we have a huge number of chicken, we will be able now to open it up for... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but then before I forget, I had a question. You're in Nairobi currently, but your business is running well in Meru. How do you even manage? Like, unajua to akazi pia, it's not everyone whom you trust. So how do you make sure, like, aujape wa heartaches, jukukuzako zote wa mekufa? It's hard. Uh, the, first, the first farmers that we began with, we lost almost half of the stock. And uh, it was quite challenging. But um, one thing I know is you need to trust people. And But I'll also say I have at least two people that I heavily depend on. Mm -hmm. I depend on one is uh, my cousin, Anaitoa Mutai. Shout out Mutai. Mm -hmm. And also uh, my dad has been really uh, a pillar uh, for this business. Um, Mutai is, I'll say, is like the person that... Uh, moves around the farmers and checking that everything is working as expected and then my dad has always helped me with the logistics that is uh when i need chicks to be delivered when i need feeds to be delivered when i need most of the logistics basically and now um we've also uh, got at least a delivery motorcycle currently wow. and we are looking out to do more deliveries even in nairobi I'm seriously considering having at least one motorcycle to just help with the deliveries and um Tukisema deliveries is a kukupeke. Remember drumsticks, those honey glazed chicken wings? Mm -hmm. fry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is amazing. So guys, Meskia, and the chicks farm got you. Eh? We got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. Globally, globally, Meru, Nairobi, Badu, Tukipanuka, Mombasa, Kilapali. We will be, even be flying the drumsticks abroad. Senior <laughs> Kali. And so guys, Remember to like the page of Andy Chicks Chicken, Kukuzao.